Hey guys, we are back with another episode of this. This monstrosity of a game. So, we all know what happened last time. Something very tragic happened. Um, what I've recently learned though as well, matter of fact, I'll just go out of full screen to show you. Is that there's actually other stuff, like... Okay, it's actually hard for me to kind of see it on a Mac, because you actually have to, like, open up, like, a whole bunch of crap just to get to it. But there's this image, apparently, that I just saw earlier, and this is clearly Sayori. Yeah. And there's a character's folder, and if you notice, Sayori is no longer in that folder. So that just raises the question to me, can I just straight up delete some of the characters? So, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna play this. It's an ordinary school day like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friends walking to school together. Ugh. God. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. No, you walk to school with Sayori! I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that, but I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content- Okay. Haven't we read some of this before? Yeah, he wanted to join the anime club. School day is ordinary as- yeah. Uh, Leon. Whoa. Monica? Hey, good- Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you there. It's been a while, right? Yeah, it has. Monica smiled sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Monica's probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, basically completely out of you. Yeah, yeah. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What'd you come here for? I was looking for some supplies for my club. Do you know if they have any construction paper in here? Or markers? You can check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? About that, I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around major clubs. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Why did that make it go staticky? Literature? Sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um, kind of embarrassing there are only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. Well, it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature, too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. So, it's a member is a member, right? I don't to say she. Hey, Liam, by chance, are you still looking for a club to join? I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there a chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you get if it, yeah. if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please? Um, guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. Awesome. You're really sweet, Leon, you know that? <laughs> Nothing really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. Oh, okay. Thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smiles. Just so you know, guys, I will go back, like, once I finish the game, I'll go back and I'll pick all the other options and everything. Like, choosing to spend all my time with Mon with Monica or, or Yuri or Natsuki, even though I just prefer Sayori. I timidly follow Monaco across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Monica's full of energy. Swings open the Nah. Monica full of energy swings open the classroom door. I'm back. And I brought a guest with me. Whoa. Eh? Guest? Seriously? You brought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Leon. I'm still, like... Still a little shooken from what happened last time. Just saying, guys, like, there's no Sayori. All the words escape me in the situation. This club is full of... Uh, we already know this. Let me guess. 
you're Monica's boyfriend, right? No, I'm not. Natsuki, the girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki, is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Anyway, this is Natsuki. Energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. Nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. It's nice to meet both of you. So I ran to Leon in a classroom, and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica. Did I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to, well, you know, make cupcakes. Sorry. I don't, I didn't forget that, but just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that'd be great. No, the cupcakes. Why don't you come sit down, man? You also have a few dust arranged for the table. Here you, okay. You've kind of seen some of this already. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat, Monica. So I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Okay, I just personally, I feel like the music's a little too loud, so I'm just gonna. That's better. Wait, I gotta yawn real quick. <sighs> I'm surprised there aren't more people in this club yet. Must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? I guess. She relatively agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. Yeah, she does that. We already know this. Don't let yourself get into me. Yuri trying to impress you. That's not... And she'll go away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not, not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Leon, what kind of things do you like to read? Uh, considering how little I've read the past few years, I don't have a good way of answering that. Monica. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? Spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are, uh... We've heard this already, right? Yeah, we've seen all this. Okay, okay now, I'm reading a lot of horror. Like, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to that to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. I'd expect that from you, Yuri. Suit your personality. Is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, even if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki, I dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. So you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? That's a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Looks like you were writing a... You were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud. Okay, we've heard this already. I don't care. I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. She returned. You wouldn't like them. Not a very confident writer yet. I understand Natsuki feels sharing that love of writing takes more than just confidence. Blah, 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 blah. We've seen this. <sighs> Except it had Sayori in it. <laughs> you can share some of your work as an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. I just got an idea. How about this? Let's go go home and write a poem. Yeah. Is that nice me? We're sharing with each other. That way everyone's even. Um... I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of vice president, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club well as its members. No, Sayori's supposed to be vice president! I don't accept this. Besides, now we have a new member. It seems like a good step for us to take. You agree as well, Leon? Hold on. There's still one problem. Hmm? What's that? 
Now we reach the most important topic. I bluntly come forth with so what's on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I've never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lost my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But I'm sorry. I thought <laughs> Natsuki wouldn't even care. Goes and glances before Monica turns back to me. Guess I need to tell you the truth, Leon. Thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four, and I've been trying really hard to find new members. Maybe if Sayori was still here. If we don't find one more before the festival, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. Besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these cute girls? Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join Leah, yeah, yeah. The guy's like, oh my god, no, do you really mean that, Leon? Y'all, yeah, be fine. You really scared me for a moment. I mean, if you were just left after all this, I would have been super pissed. Leon, I'm so happy you're in VA, yeah, in official club. Thanks so much, you're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time. What? Thanks, I guess. <laughs> okay, everyone. I think that with that, we can officially end today's meeting. All right, yeah, write a poem. Look forward to seeing how you start me yet. Yeah, da da da. Meanwhile, the girls change your chat. I guess I'll be on my way. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. Okay, yay. One drop of scene three. Uh, we've basically seen this, except it had Sayori in it. Alright, now we have to do the writing a poem thing. Is he gonna tell us how to do We've unlocked a special. Um. This isn't a poem. It's not a poem. Okay. Wait, if I load back to that. Hold up. Oh, I can skip. We're just gonna see, like, will that still be there or will that have changed now? No, it's still the same. That's not a poem. Ugh, whatever. Okay, we're gonna try to get a poem for Yuri. Unstable. Um, vertigo. Contamination. Um, no! Uh, I, I want to try to see if I can get a full 20. Not a 420, a full 20. Extraordinary. Natsuki, I swear to God. Analysis, um, contamination, journey, unrestrained, grief, um, after image. Pro How does promise go to you? Ugh. I really want to try to get a full 20. Okay, unrestrained, frightening, breathe, um, COVID, I don't know. Hopeless, whoa, okay. Peaceful, question, analysis. This better not be for you. Fuck! We, we had nine words already. Disaster, tenacious, pain, intellectual, time. Yeah, I thought something was on my arm. Misery, inferno. Imagination, contamination, sensation, despise, death, desire, incongruent, vitality, extraordinary. No, we're just gonna keep going. Frightening, after image, uncontrollable. Oh, wait, there was still one more. Um, together. Fuck you! <laughs> Whatever, we got it mainly about who we need. Hi, Leon. Glad to see you didn't run away. Ah, uh, don't worry. It's gonna be a little strange, but I keep my word. <sighs> Back at the literature club. It was last. I was last to come in, so everybody else is already hanging. What was that? Thank you for keeping your promise, Leon. 
Helps isn't too overwhelming of a commitment to, to you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Oh, I kind of can't see it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Get out of the fucking way! Natsuki finds herself stuck saying, saying manga and ma manga. Manga is literature! So as they defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. This music sounds faster now. I'm sorry, Leon. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have an interest in picking up a book to read. Well, now it's slowed down. Can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now, so it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. Wait. I didn't mean it like that, Baka. <laughs> if you really don't, if you, yeah, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything. I guess. No, it's not that eerie. I want to try to be a part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. You sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I don't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it. Do you want to... This is... How's it girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Well, now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some... Yeah, we saw that. Yuri's face is already buried in the book. Yeah, she, Natsuki's rummaging around in the closet. This music really sounds like it keeps getting slower. I'm really curious. I feel like this might be how, like, the normal speed of it. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. At the same time, I feel bad for distracting her. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It's the same as the book she lent me. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me, and our eyes meet for a split second. Oh my god, we locked eyes. Marry me! <laughs> that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I muttered this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It's fine. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed it in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... Her eyes are, like, pushed off to the sides. Are they still moving? Um... Guys, are they still moving? Her eye is just... Moving off of her face. I'm- I'm not- I'm- I'm not- I'm not touching anything. Cause maybe something happens. Is it still moving? This is really creepy, guys. I thought this game was a happy game. And and then, all of a sudden, ever since the last episode, now it turned dark. Um, should we... Should we try clicking on it or something? Um. Um. I want to reread some of it. Oh, now her eyes are normal. Not for any particular reason. Just curious, how come we have two copies of the same book? Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, that's not what I meant. I mean, I just happened to buy two of them. I see. Something very obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. Glad to hear. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. That's so. What's the story about, anyway? Well, look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically about this religious camp that was turned to a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. 
But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and infecting them to... Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. Anyway, really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. It's kind of dark, <laughs> but I like it. Is this an actual book? Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Leon? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kind of stories, so don't worry. Hope so. Yeah, totally forgot that Yuri is into these things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story is the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil. Well, what happened to the text? Uh, I, I'm just going to make my voice deep for this. But because the world is full of horrible people, and we're all worthless anyway. Then suddenly... I, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. Sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest either. By the way, to me, I don't know if it's so like the way it sounds with the recording that the deep, that my deep voice, I can literally like not. I'm not gonna do it now, but I can kind of do Ven. I can do Venom's voice. And just so you guys know, watch that movie. It's good. Anybody that says it's bad, well, just go to hell. <laughs> you're all you're all not true fans. I've lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. Why well, let things like books and writings fill my thoughts? What was that? What is this? What the hell is this? What happened? I didn't get to read the text. It says my body in the... Uh, all I saw was my body something. I kind of forgot to pay attention to other people... So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. Okay, I'm not gonna- I'm gonna stop clicking fast. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's- I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. <laughs> that's- well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? What the fuck? Yes. I mean, you don't have to, but- Okay, just to be safe, I'm gonna save right now. <sighs> What are you saying? Let me just get the book. Quickly retrieve the book I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fine if I sit here right up. Ah, hold up, guys, my ear hurts a little. Using my headphones for the recording. Alright, there we go. Slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah, are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. What does that mean? Just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. Open up the book and start the prologue. <sighs> Soon I understand what Yuri means about reading in company. As if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. I'm not a partic- It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. She's not actually looking down at her book. I glance over. Looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry. I was bathing the feeling of your body heat. You you really apologize a lot, don't you? I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... Ugh. Yeah, this should work, right? Slide my desk till it's up against Yuri's and hold my book more, more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lead in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Guess it makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yay! What was that? I thought I saw something over here. Why does my mouse do this? <laughs> it goes gigantic. <laughs> Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Look at this. Perfect. Screenshotting it. Yay. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, I hold it even closer together than before. It's actually kind of distracting me. As if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Ready? 
to turn the page. Oh, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. That's all right, your face again. Our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. That's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. Probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me. Yep, thanks. Continue reading. You already no longer ask me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently lets go of the page, letting it flutter over to her side. She catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but... The main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Eh? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking of the way she second guesses things she says and all that. Uh, that's what you were talking about. Sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. We didn't even get that far yet. So I don't even know why that came into my head. <laughs> Yuri, are you feeling alright? Eh? He's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing's a little... Am I breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest as if to feel her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth is that about? Leon, something just happened now. I have no idea. Yuri's acting a little strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. Sorry, can't say I do. Are you worried about her? No, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. N no, nothing. Don't worry, I believe you, silly. Yuri just does this sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, you say so. <sighs> I don't know when you guys are watching this, but I'm recording this at night. <laughs> anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I just figured we'd get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, just asking. Stand up and make a mental note of where I left off in the book and slip it back into my bag. Okay, guess we're gonna share with Natsuki? Who should I show my poem to first? To Natsuki, I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Leon, if you're not gonna take this club seriously, then go home. Fuck you! Alright, right, I've already seen this. This is all stuff we've seen. Yep, we've already seen. Already seen this. Skipping it. Skip, skip. Oh, yeah, we can just skip it. Because we've already seen it. Can we skip Monica? Nope. It's new. Any good time so far? Yeah. Good, glad to hear. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever any have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. Much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? Kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Uh, we kind of already know this already. I was going, ooh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. Not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. Guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. <laughs> that way, uh, it always counts when I've put in some effort. <laughs> That's not very fair. Well, guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Writing's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel that Yuri's mind just completely detached from reality. I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. Sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head, that's probably a much more interesting place for her. That's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier, 
I think if she gets to stimulate, she ends up withdrawing and looking for a long time. Suddenly, door opens. Yuri, I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. We all started sharing poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still got plenty of time, so I'm more than glad that you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I thought I should go get my poem now. Anyway, you want to read my poem? Don't worry, I'm not very good. So I'm pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? See, well, let's read it then. Yeah, we've already read this. Yeah, see, we can skip past all this. Yuri's poem in Osa is exceptional. What was that? Did I just say that out loud? Yuri's... Yuri first covers her mouth and then ends up covering her whole face. Uh, he's going to hate me. You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Eh? That's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? Ah ha 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 ha. Lol. Yuri takes a breath. So, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry for. Really? Wow, it's a huge compliment coming from you. It's actually my first time, really. Huh? Yuri stares at me blankly and looks at my poem again. Well, I know that. I just meant, um... He trails off, unable to find an excuse. She traces her finger along the words in the poem as if breaking it down more thoroughly. Yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. <laughs> oh, seen this already. I'm just being careful in case there's anything new. It's nothing really. Yours was impressive too, so, nah. If anything, I'd probably learn a thing or two from you. You think so? Of course. You know, I was really nervous about doing all this, but in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm gonna keep doing my best for you, Leon. Huh. Me too. Phew. Guess that's everyone. Glance around the room, there's a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone's judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way... The music sounds different, guys. You guys hear that too, right? Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. This is what I end up getting myself into. Costa and Monica's writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri Nafi. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper. Oh, this is where they have that. This is just where they have that argument about their poems. Yeah, we're just gonna skip past this. We've basically already seen this. Oh, okay, now it's different. Me, look who's talking. You want to be edgy, bitch. Edgy? Whoa! Um. Um. Um, I don't even want to click. Sorry, the... God, oh my god. This is just creepy now. Uh, well, why is it getting all staticky? So my life style is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. This music is so creepy. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? Do you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Leon hear everything you really think. She'll be head over heels for you after this. <sighs> then the year he turns toward me as if she noticed I was standing here. 
Leon. She's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How to get dragged this? Not like a boohoo. I'm ever out. What the? F How was I supposed to read that? Can I even load? We're gonna try to read that as much as we can this time. Okay. All right. I'm getting ready to read this. Whew. How to get myself dragged into this? They're probably okay, but whoever I pick is gonna affect whatever. Okay. Um. Okay, Natsuki, you're still being a bitch. So you're. Whoa. What? This is creepy. Easy. Um, hey Leon, why don't we step outside for a little bit, okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Surprising I am, right? Can't even confront my own club members properly. Joshua was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never had an enemy to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend spend time with you instead. So Natsuki runs out, crying like a little bitch. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri, I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Leon, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Um. Okay. I really feel like she is self- Just from that one episode we did where she talked about oh, saving your game or whatever. I feel like she's self-aware that this is all just a game. Shit, I hope she can't hear me. <laughs> But I feel like she's self-aware about all the crap that goes on. And maybe she's been, maybe, hell, for all I know, she can tamper with stuff. And so she's saying Natsuki's memory will be gone completely. Is she going to erase Natsuki's whole memory of what happened today? I'm getting creeped the fuck out. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. She keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Leon, so it would be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> Guess I don't really have a choice, do I? Sorry for causing trouble. Um, well, okay then. Okay, well, let's just save over this. No, Natsuki! Extra oh my god, how does that go with you? You're not extraordinary, you're a bitch. Okay, oh, nightgown. What? Oh my god. Alright, let's be a little more reason about this. Massacre. Universe. Contamination. Unstable. Determination. Crimson. Unrestrained. Whisper. How does Whisper go with you? You like cutesy stuff in anime. Okay, Firefly. Oh, I should have known. Fireflies are pretty adorable. Okay. Eternity. Waterfall. Um. Disaster. Pain. Controllable. Disoriented. Unending. I'm just going with dark words. Rain clock. Suicide. Okay. Um. 
same unrestrained horror. What the fuck was that? Hopeless. Wrath. Anger. Tragedy. Misery? I'm supremely creeped out right now, guys. I'm just gonna go back. Um, stable. Fuck, you know what? Philosophy. Whatever that word. I'm required. That n determination, and there's this. Okay, let's go back to this. What is this all about? Despise. Disaster. Now, I want to see, like, can we get all words that make it do that little... Okay, so let's pick some random words here. Wow, it's taking a while to pop up. Maybe we have to pick those weird words just to get it. Fester. Hurt. Grief. Death. Um, unending. Shame. How does she like all these? Misfortune. Wrath. Capable. Empty. Cage. Tears. Vivid. Unstable. Tragedy. Mm -hmm. Contamination. Dark. Okay, I'm just gonna save that one, and then we're gonna load back to this one. Entering club room, usual scene. Welcome back, Leon. Hi, Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. Wait, yesterday's coral still hangs in the air. Natsuki's reading manga. Finally, Monica isn't here yet. Yuri takes him and puts him into the corner of the room. About yesterday, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that ever happened before, and something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off today. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think of less of you. I already decided there's no way you can be a bad person. Now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Don't say that kind of thing. Make them a little happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. I'm really glad you joined this club. Everything's a little bit brighter with you around. And sorry, what am I saying right now? I just have you guys seen Monica? No, I haven't. I was kind of wondering where she was. Man, yeah, I'm guessing you haven't either. You feel you're taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, I doesn't like her at all. I know it's stupid. But I can't help but worry a little bit. Come on, why are you looking at me like that? Um. Natsuki, about yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? You do something yesterday? Her memory of it is gone. This only proves what I thought. Jeez, what was on your mind? I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the littlest things, aren't you? But... My name is Sinkle of Blindsight Life Line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, I was looking down at the text. I didn't look at that. Creepy, like, every now and then I can see, like, a little bit through those little black blotches on her eyes, and I don't see pupils at all. 
Mibbles, Sailcloth, Blindsight, Lifeline, and in Recipitality? Recipitality? Faultlessly offered Squirrela. Night. I'll accept your body anyway if it helps you feel better. Kinda nice to hear since I was afraid you secretly hated me or something. Not at all, I don't hate you. Haha. -ha. Well, you're kinda weird, but I don't hate you either. Still on trial though. <laughs> when she looked at me, <laughs> sudden door swings open. Sorry, super sorry. There you are, didn't mean to be late. Hoping you guys weren't worried or anything. Oski was. I was not! Hmm. I'll take you so long anyway. Huh. Well, my last period today was study hall. be honest, I kinda just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still really not good at it yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So, I'm still impressed. Well, thanks, Yuri. How did your skirt do that? You should play something for us sometime. That's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but... It... It's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little better, it will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. That's so. In that case, I won't let you down, Leon. Monica smiles sweetly. We've basically heard all this before. <sighs> Monica's from the whole club. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. Blah, blah, blah. So I didn't miss anything. Not really. Natsuki has already run off from the closet. Um... Such a compliment put me in a good mood. I was wondering if you like spend some time together in the club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I planned on it anyway. Okay, can we start now? It's time to place to sit. Ah. I'm being a little forceful, on her. Sorry. I just won't stop panic for some reason. Don't worry about it. Same thing. It's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah, but I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath, then pulls a copy of the book out of, out of her bag. Actually, I have a quest. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thank you very much. Thought I heard something. If there's one nice thing that can make reading time any better, it's a cup of tea. You have to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up, makes her way to the closet. Can you hold this for a second? Sure, Gary hands me a water pitcher. But I'm gonna plug some teacher's desk and I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets Kel down on the teacher's desk. Simply watch her movements. <sighs> to my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerism. Especially because of her long legs. Why are you looking at her legs? Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks. I'll be right back. Might as well walk with you. Oh, that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes passed. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up? Let's go check on her. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. Most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. Start heading down the hallway. <sighs> the fuck? <sighs> somebody, somebody masturbating? <laughs> What's that noise? Come from outside, from around the corner. Sounds like breathing. <laughs> Somebody, some, somebody's jerking off, <laughs> jerking off or doing some stuff. A sharp inhale, like someone sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, what kind of shit is this? Okay, I felt like Natsuki. Natsuki is still a bit of a bitch for calling, for calling, basically calling her a cutter, but still, this fucking many? And hell, every last one looks recent. Except for, like, these, or maybe some of these, but she's fucking bleeding. What? Mm -hmm. I watched, I watched Sayori die, I don't want to see this shit, I'm done. Fucking done. Mm. 
<sighs> Fine. Whoa. Um. Why did time rewind? Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I've had my fill of fucking creepy for the day. But, just for y'all's sake, I'm gonna keep going. I'm back. Thanks for waiting. Leon, do you like oolong tea? Yeah, oolong's pretty good, actually. Anything is fine. Just need to make sure I got some honey. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less while I'm making tea for others. And if I'm not an expert on tea or anything, <laughs> in that case, you'll, you'll be even more impressed. Perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot. She's humming to herself. You must be in a good mood. Is that so? I was I was letting it show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. I decided that I would try to express myself a little bit more. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around, anyway. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Leon. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea. Leon have a request. You might have sit on the floor. Uh, it's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the walls rather than have to bend over my desk. Is it because of these? They kind of weigh down on your chest. Sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. That's so. I wonder why that is. Most likely because of my... My... Your posture, right? You're always hunched over like that while reading. Yeah, I have terrible reading posture. That's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough, I'll go ahead and get the book. She was talking about her boobs. I retrieved the book from my bag. I have some chocolate as well. I'm like a small chocolate candy. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. How do you know? <laughs> Yuri and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our side. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer. Can't see too well. Yuri sits closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus? Yuri's always kind of cute, right? She is pretty cute. When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands on a teacup, holding it with my hand that's not holding the book. I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. Okay, guys, just back to what just happened earlier with her with her arm. It really kind of makes sense because of the knife she had earlier, like way back before all this occurred. She, um, yeah, she had that knife that cuts through paper. That, uh, that cuts through skin like paper. <sighs> I use all my willpower to focus on reading. For a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. You got your, you made your boner die down? Good. <laughs> I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Sorry. Briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You have as much as you want. Oh, that's that's okay. I won't take any. You sure? Well, if I touch it, I might get smudges on the pages. You're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? You sure? Of course. Uh, this is cute. Screenshot. Take it up. <laughs> Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. I know that sticky bomb thing came out of nowhere. I was just watching some Jacksepticeye's guys' old videos <laughs> earlier. <laughs> she holds it so that way I don't have any harder time reading it from it. As a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. Take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Then, I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't look away from the book. She simply parts her lip as if the situation was completely natural. That means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um, Leon, sorry. I shouldn't have done that. 
Well, the music stopped. Uh, Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I, I can't. Leon, suddenly Yuri fortunately grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. <coughs> Leon, why did everything go dark? My heart, heart won't stop pounding. Le heart. Did Yandere Mo just get initialized? I can't calm down. Look at her eyes. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Leon? You suddenly press my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? You guys can hear that well, right? I'll, hell, I'll turn it up so you guys can hear it. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Yep, she's got the Yandere eyes. Even if it makes... It even makes me want to not read. I just want to look at you. What the fuck? Those are human eyes. Like, well, not really human, but still. <sighs> Can you get out of my fucking face? You're creeping me the hell out. This is hella weird. I'm not even going to read say that the text because she's just breathing um it's time to share poems I kind of don't want to share with Yuri now I'm scared Monica help me if you're even a nice person I think I saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see I didn't have to tell you this but I don't think I have a choice it's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri I don't know why but she's pretty easily excitable when she's around you it shouldn't be a problem in itself but what the f- mm. Mm. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Isn't that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. Well, okay, I personally have a knife collection. I just like knives. I appreciate the craftsmanship. And the colors, and the style, and the size of the blades. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. Same. I think she just got some kind of high from it. Okay, not that. I don't cut myself. Just saying. It might even be like a sexual thing, but the point is you're kind of enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. That's, that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be the best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in the head and I know how to treat my club members. No! You want me to read... I like the way this one turned out, so how could you do Save me the colors. Is this new? Delete? Can I? Do I? Can I actually? I, okay, I feel like this is new. Save me the colors won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing red, green, blue, and endless cacophony? I don't know. Of meaningless noise. Noise that won't stop. Violent, grating wave waveforms? Squ Squeaking, screeching, piercing, sign, consign, tangent, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a knife on a breathing ribcage, endless poem of meaningless, delete her, delete who? No, not this, this, freaking, this, delete who? Because I, I have access to these folders and everything. Do you want me to delete Yuri? Do you want me to delete Natsuki? Or should I just fucking delete you? <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna play it safe and not delete anyone. Sorry, I know it's kind of... Ab should I have deleted? I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, this is Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save the game. You're breaking the fourth wall! You never know when I'm... Who am I talking to? Can you hear... Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Um... Um... Help. 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 I don't want... She's self-aware. That's my advice today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> you know what? Just because we're going to share with Yuri last. Okay, let's go, Natsuki. 
Yeah, just as I thought. You know, come on, I'm not stupid. How much time have you been spending with Yuri? So I obviously care more about impressing her than... Put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Why are you even in this club? Honestly, I thought giving a new, getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together. It's not good everyone anymore. It's just a stupid activity. Look, I'm not in a good mood today, so I don't really feel like talking right now. Please go away, bitch. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written. Do you like it? Leon, this might be better than yesterday. How do you even pick up on this so quickly? It's yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really want to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. Ah. That makes me so happy. It's amazing to feel that I'm valued, Leon. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. Heart pounds just holding it. Ah ha ha. I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Leon? I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a hard time, usual, at concealing my emotions. Kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem, too. Okay? What is this stain? Have we read this? And it's hard for me to read to as well, because I'm not good at reading cursive. So, I'm just gonna... Do, you know, do the easy way. I'm just gonna take screenshots. And then I'll lead it up. Lead it. Read it. Later. Uh -huh. Doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. That is a pen fell out of your back. Is that why the stain was there? Was, is that her downstairs area juices? I took it home for safekeeping, and I just really like the way that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. Haha. Uh -huh. I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. No, I do not want to read your special poems. They've all turned out weird. Today I got my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how... Okay. Just because I'm gonna assume it says Sayori. Just because, guys. Just because I'm gonna assume it says Sayori. How Sayori feels now. I'm supposed to be responsible. Or Monica. Though, so I don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to come myself. I left a memento of the occasion below. Blood. She actually put her blood on it. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? This is something we need to go over. Oh, it's just about the festival. I think we can just skip past this. We already know about the festival. Yeah, I'm just... Just because I'm gonna skip past this. To me, I just like it better here than I do at home. Leon isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's interested in finding new members. Ah! It's a bug. It's a moth. In my room. Yeah. The rest of us are fine like this. Speak for yourself. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider your our opinions for once. Not clearly taken back by Nazi words. That's not true at all. I'm sure, you're in Leon. Want to get more members too, right? Yeah, blah blah blah. The club is not more than for a few a place for a few people to hang out. But I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did. That doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Leon, why'd you even join this club? What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, now it's something I can be honest about. In fact, remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Unless it's downstairs at her desk. What's the point of all this, anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest, it's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends and join some other club. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? Sorry, headphone fell out of my ear. There aren't there aren't many other places like that for me. Then join the fucking manga club. I know Monica wants to take it away from take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Leon. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, I would have joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean. At least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Yuri Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. 
I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki, Natsuki ignores Yuri's and walks right out of the classroom. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Um, do you really have an? Do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. This is creepy. Who cares about that obnoxious brat. I like how nice and quiet the club is now. I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me for ignore. My yeah, it's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. Okay, now you're being weird. Whoa! I'm supremely freaked out right now, guys, and I'm just keep going for you guys. Should do my best to consider everyone's perspectives and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Leon? What do you want to get out of this club? You repeat the same question as Monfo. It's like giving an indirect answer. It's better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. For the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. Huh. Yeah. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member... Why is the blood dripping from her eye? Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you'd like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Eh? I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. M Monica, I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Leon? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Leon before we leave. Just gonna see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Maybe he looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the class. Phew. Things have been a little hectic lately, haven't they? Leon, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I kind of feel like I'm responsible for that as vice president. It's getting all staticky, guys. I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Tell me Natsuki is and everything. Oh, okay, just as a little, like, just a, just in case, we're going to save here. And we're going to load back to this, because since we did a different poem for this, would there be anything different? Doesn't look like it. Yeah. Doesn't look like there's been any differences. Okay, yeah, no differences. Oh, uh, you're a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like you and I are the only real people here. Um, you know what I mean? Red flag! But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. What do you mean? I guess technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things we're hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why... I... Wait, not yet. Nope, stop it. Whoa, um... Okay. That's already... Judgment. What? I just saw Monica. And why is it say 111? Okay. We want to save over this and then relog that. Okay. Dazzle. Okay, we're just going to pick a bunch of words today. Hi, Leon. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? Brought my tea. Monica, told you not to- Ugh. She really late again, considering it as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? 
Why don't you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant, incest, incest, whatever. What are you talking about? You say it like I do it on a regular basis. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. i just been a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. I just feel like I need to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh, man. Last one here again. Well, Leon just walked into. Are you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> Must have a lot of determination. Starting this club, still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Right. I forgot. Um, about Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and... We decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're still working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um. Also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you new manga. <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something, but I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool, and I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know, so I'm going to help out and make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Ah. Yeah, that's wonderful. Wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Leon... What do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Oh. That's so, Yuri. That's correct. Leon's already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. I did the deep voice because she had the Meandere eyes. I have a request. Mind if we make some tea first? Yeah, go ahead and make some tea. I don't care. Can you hold this for a second? Yeah, she hands me the water pitcher. We've seen this. Yeah, we can skip past this. Everything just... Repeated. What the f- Wait, how did I- Sorry, I just had really weird deja vu. This doesn't happen before or anything, right? That- That literally just happened earlier. My head's been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon, so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as <coughs> inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. I made people not want to be around me. I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. And the way I can't even control myself when I get ex too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If anybody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me. Well, if nobody, I meant. Then, just easier if I close myself off. But, recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. Every time I come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. <coughs> I don't know why it's happening. Leon, it's just me. Has Monica been acting a little off lately? She really has. <coughs> so I'd been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not. You're not. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. Now went creepy. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. What is that? I see... I see a green eye. Is that Monica? That is Monica. <coughs> Nobody interfere with our reading time. Nobody make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <laughs> that was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. Sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. 
Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them from all various artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. That's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club, Leon. Monica, what are you doing here? Now you don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. No use for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school and read together, eat together, sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything you could ever want. Is that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now we get the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. Would you do that with me, Leon? We. What? Thou. Just happened. Okay, Monica. Don't say it didn't warn you, Leon. Okay, to be safe, we're just gonna go with Natsuki first. I'm not gonna read another one of your Yuri suck up poems, but I'm still gonna make you read mine. There's a reason. I really wish I didn't have to do this, but unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? Then you can go away. Whoa, this is different. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why. But please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri. And it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting it. But right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So, please, if you can do something to help, I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. Like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just sound like I gave you a really good poem, okay? Counting on you. Thanks for reading. Glitchy. Her face is blank. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Leon? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for, for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. What? Just Monica. What? Okay, Yuri. Finally, aha. Uh -huh. I love it. I love everything about it. Leon, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. You're too nice to me, Leon. I've never met anyone. This is you. I could die. Not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? You're holding my phone to your chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that will make you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your, so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Ha 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 ha. You can have my poem, too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. What the fucking fuck? There's weird yellow. And there's red. Blood all over the place. I can't make out any of these. Make out any of this. Is this even actual words? Okay, I'm gonna take screenshots of this. And the music is really creepy, and everything's red. Oh, I don't know why that does that. If I click the middle mouse. Like the mouse wheel button. If I click it, it just switches over this. <laughs> what? The f mm. She's all up in my face. You like it? I wrote it for you. In case you can tell the poem is about. <laughs> More importantly, I can doubt my, what my scent. See, I'm the most thoughtful person. Like, I think I'm gonna vomit. It just says yes or no. There, we do this. Nothing happens. <laughs> Um, can we, can we save? <sighs> yes. Can you hear me? 
I'm gonna check the game files, cause appa fucking hell. Hold up, did it? Did that stop the recording? Okay, no, let's keep. No, 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 no. Load the game. Load the game. What if we click? No. It's just the same thing. Okay, we're just gonna load back to here. All right, we're gonna check if anything popped up. I hate this. I can't do anything. Nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It wouldn't really. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now, but that would mean I don't get talked to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? And this. There's a little devil inside all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, their artificial reality is a writhing, twisted mess of dread, loathing, judgment, elitism, self-doubt, all thrashing to escape the feeble hold of their host, seeping through every little crevice they can find into their willpower, starving them all motivation and desire into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt in comfort food or into a newly opened gash in their skin, hidden only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Such a deplorable, tangled mass is already present in every single one of them. That's why I chose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. Okay. <laughs> okay, everyone. Time to figure out special preparations, how you can get this over with. Oh, look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Agonize errors, common foreshadowing, something terrible is going to happen. Let's get this done. Okay, we know she was getting pamphlets. She's going to do cupcakes and she's going to do the banner shit. Leon's going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job. That's just how it is. Like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work more suitable for one person... But my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. Wait, cupcakes, please. Like, you would fucking know. All you care about now is dragging Leon around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Leon decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let Leon make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. Leon, I know I've fed up your these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. It's never gonna end. Just make the choice, okay? Okay, guys. I'm gonna end the recording here. Um, See you later. I, I, I gotta go. Bye.